In this video, we're gonna teach you how to jump your motorcycle straight. We know it's like the biggest problem in motocross and today we're gonna to solve it. What's up guys, Tyler Livesey here. And that's at TLivesey254 on Instagram. Make sure you show them that. I'm trying to get some followers. I'm trying to get some followers, man. Today we're gonna learn how to jump the bike straight. It's like the biggest question we get in our email inbox. Why am I jumping uh, sideways? And when I land, I'm swapping and crashing. So we're just gonna go over three simple things that you can start to apply to make sure your bike's jumping as straight as possible. Step number one is gonna be understanding your jump face. And there's different jump faces in all different types of dirt, all different tracks and all scenarios. So that's gonna change the way the bike reacts all the time. So the big, really important thing here is that you're studying jump faces and understanding what it's doing, not only to you when you're riding, but also watch other riders. So if you have a steep jump face, you know that you're gonna be putting a lot of force into the suspension, into the tires, you're likely gonna get more traction. The less steep the jump face becomes, the more it is up to you to create that traction by putting weight into the bike. So if you have a steep jump face, it, it shouldn't be kicking the bike sideways unless you have a kicker on the top of the jump. And that is a pretty common thing too. So you've got to make sure you're looking at the top of the jump. Okay, so something to add to knowing your jump face is sandy jump faces. Most of the jump faces that most of us ride aren't sand, but I did grow up in Florida and I do understand that sand is a whole nother animal. And so you'll have sometimes rollers up jump faces that are sandy. And a lot of times the tops of the jumps fall off. So that takes some different kind of finesse. We're gonna make a whole nother video for sandy jump faces, but understand those jumps break down a lot more. It's a lot easier for the bike to get sideways. Make sure you're really comfortable in the air before you're jumping big jumps that are sandy. Guys, we have a merch shop. It's only been here for like a month, but it's doing really great. A lot of people are wearing our stuff, which is amazing. If you do wanna check that out, it's shopmxf.com. We appreciate the support as always. All right, so step two is just gonna be discussing the problem. And what I mean by problem is the body position. The body position is everything here. The most common thing for people is that when they hit the gas, they drive the knees forward. And the reason they're driving the knees forward is to get under or get in front of the power. And that is a technique that you wanna know how to do, but you wanna do it with keeping your knees back in the middle of the bike. The reason for that is you want to wait the middle of the bike, the shock in the rear tire to get traction. This isn't just on jumps, but it is very important on jumps. So make sure that you practice getting under power heavy power with your knees back and head forward. Okay, so that's the difference. People will drive their knees forward and their head comes up, okay? And so then we just have our whole body on the front of the bike. We have our head up high, so there's a lot of leverage and leeway up top, and we don't have any weight on that back tire, and the wheel spins off the top of the jump. If you start to lose traction midway to the top of the jump, that wheel is gonna try to catch any groove that it can to get traction and to go straight. So it may slide three inches, but that three inches on the top of the jump means a foot in the air. So you just have to understand even the littlest movements as you're sliding off the top of the jump is gonna be dramatic as you get in the air because it's gonna be floating that direction. So step number three, I've already kind of explained it. The solution is getting your body position right. And so we're gonna show you a little bit of that on the stand right now so you can truly understand what that looks like. And then you need to practice this on flat ground. Repetition is key. Do as much as you can until you feel like you're in balance with the power while standing and keeping your knees back. That is the solution to the most of the problems when you're jumping. We jump sideways and we jump straight. We really hope that improves your riding. We know that's one of the most dangerous things. If you want some more technique videos, we definitely have them over here. Don't forget to check out our Instagrams, at the MX Factor. We got lots of cool stuff going on there. Like, subscribe, our Patreon account. You can do donate real small monthly donation, $1 a month to help us keep this channel moving forward. Make sure you check that out. You can click down there for that. Peace.